cleanup time. I've already got a little bit of ash in here, but uh, you want to make sure that this is like that. You don't want to avoid cleaning up too many ashes. And you don't want this to pile too high in there because, well, it fills the butt. And there's still embers in here. And don't have anybody talking to you or distracting you because then you could get burnt. And you don't want that. But if you do get burnt, run to the fridge and get some ice and hold on to it for, well, depending on the severity of the burn, it could be as much as a day. And uh, don't burst the, the blister. you got to leave that blister there. Just put a bandage over it. But the first thing you want to do is sterilize it. And what I do, I'm not recommending this, but what I do is I spray it with hydrogen peroxide and then uh, betadine, providine, that kind of thing. And I put that over the top. The reason I do that is that's what surgeons do when they're operating on you. They smear betadine around the site. And that uh, keeps viruses and bacteria from getting in the wounds that they're operating on or the sites. You have to reach the center, at least the way I'm doing it, from the side. Be very slow and deliberate. Jerky movements, gonna scatter ashes on your carpet and off to the fire extinguisher. Now when you do this, it means starting a fire from scratch. Okay, here's a little safety blurb that I'm putting in here. Um, first things first, never put your ash bucket on a carpet. Make sure it's all, always on a tile. Okay, make sure you have a fire extinguisher right next to you. Um, and make sure that you know what to do in case of a burn. And my recommendation, or what I use, not my recommendation, but I use a heavy set of gloves when I'm handling the wood. And sometimes when I'm handling uh, the ashes. Um, I've been burnt, and uh, the way I treated it, was I help grab a hold of uh, some ice out of the refrigerator for as long as I can stand it. Then I uh, wait till it's shrunk. Sometimes if you hold on to it long enough, it just clips the pain right off. You don't have the pain. You get the bubble, but not the pain. And then I will spray hydrogen peroxide on any wounds, whether they're just bubbles or if it's gone all the way through. And then I will put betadine, and I will put it on and leave it. And if I can, I let the air dry it. If not, then you can put, uh, or I, I put, um, some uh, uh, a band-aid if it, if it covers the whole thing. And uh, there's been times when I've actually put crazy glue over it as a kind of a uh, stitch. So the way I treat things is in that fashion. Uh, if you can, I recommend you leave coals going as long as possible. Um, if you got a dryer or a hair dryer or a heat gun, when you put your wood on it, you blow it with a heat gun. That'll fan the flames and light the fires. And I put a TP or a pyramid, I like to call it a pyramid, but it's a TP shape. And I put a milk carton full of tissue and splinters and stuff like that underneath the TP and build the TP over that. Well, that's enough for now. Doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to fill it back up. So, this will go. I'm not going to do it now because it might ignite. But this, full of a little bit of kindling, 
tissue paper, whatever paper you save. Here's a napkin that I threw over here just to be in this. And uh, you put that in there. I'm not going to do it now. You put that in there and you build your teepee around it. And you probably want to put some of these fire starters around it too if it's not a good day to start it. These hang in there long enough for them. You get the fire starters at your grocery store, usually on the front wall near the windows. Anyway, that's a fire starter. I'm not sure how much is visible here, but um, you could throw it in there. And you can lay these on their side. So anyway, get that going and you'll get some coals going, hot coals. And once you get the hot coals, then I do a crisscross pattern. I take the short pieces of wood that I've got and I've made sure to cut them that way. And the long people, pieces, I go horizontal. And if you want, you can go two or three levels up that way. And you will get a heck of a fire. I'm not going to show that right now. I think it's in some of my other videos. So anyway, like, subscribe.